Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today I'm going to paint like, uh, like uh, a colorful landscape. I'm going to put a pathway there, trees and whatever to come out of my mind. And please don't forget to subscribe, be able to subscribe it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we need and all the things that we need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now and first step, I'm going to do that a little bit of sketching first. So I have here the rule umber. So I'm going to put the uh, a mountain here, and then here will be the pathway. There. And here, and then next to the pathway, I'm going to put a big tree here. It will be a big colorful tree. Here, a little bit of mountain, I'm going to put some colorful trees here, and maybe a, ho a house here, a little bit far. And then here another tree, and also some, some forest here. There, and then some uh, mountains on the distance, and then I'm going to make my... Uh, sky a bit colorful like an afternoon sky okay so uh, yeah i think uh uh the sketch is ready and i'm gonna put now start with the underpainting okay so i have here this uh 1.5 inch flat brush so i'm gonna start with the light blue color There. I just want to make everything solid, everyone. And then I'm going to put a little bit of red and then white. I just want to make everything look... Uh, uh, I wanted to make it look like a uh, bit of fan uh, fantasy landscape. Something like that. Yeah. I'm going to do my best to make my... Sky look colorful. Totally, my canvas now is a bit hard and thick. Everyone, so I'm gonna need some water to make it uh, to make it smooth. This is a different kind of canvas, different brand that I'm using now. Okay, I have here the blue. A little bit of red to make some purple, and then we can put now some mountains here on the distance. There, yeah, I can just uh, do it like that. Because you do not need to make it so uh, clean, something like that. There. And then I'm gonna put also another layer, blue and the red again to make it purple. Yeah, we can put here like a forest. Okay, and then the next one will be thicker or darker, much more bluish, I think. 
live here. This will be some trees later on. Okay, here we go. And another one will be a bit uh, darker. So here. cover uh, the pathway here and also the raw amber put it look thick I want to make the paint thick everyone I don't want to make it look like uh It's already dry now, even the background is already dry. Yeah, that's good. Then I'm gonna proceed here on the uh, this part. I'm gonna make it, uh, make it, I'm gonna make the sky orange, everyone. I'm going to add now some some colors on the sky. Yeah, I'm gonna make it uh, a little bit colorful, everyone, because it's an afternoon landscape. Okay, so I have here the yellow and then uh, yellow and the red, I'm sorry, and then I have here the white, my yellow. Mm. 
my light source will be from the left side everyone so yeah Yeah, I'll just cover some parts here so I will not uh, focus so much on the sky. I'll just put some uh, reflection uh, light here. There, so I'll just make it easy, something like that. Okay, so I am going to add some details here. Yeah, just maybe here because I will cover also here. So, yeah. so I'll just add a few details. I'll try to use this uh, light orange there, and even here, everyone, you can put some light orange to make it look like that uh, this part of the mountain hit by the by the sun. Just a, a little bit, and also here. Yeah, just a simple uh, sky. I'm using the light color here, light orange, uh, to this part. So I think it's uh, that's fine. I think that's fine for me. I will not uh, make it. I will not put in that part. Because I'm gonna put a big uh, tree here. Maybe I will just cover some parts here. So it will just be useless. I'm gonna make it good. Okay. Okay. And here also, everyone, I'm gonna put one tree here. So yeah, maybe I will proceed now on the bottom part because uh, I think that's fine for me now. I oh, yeah, maybe I just uh, will not proceed for now. I'll just put now the big tree where I'm gonna put those uh, those details. So I'm going to plan to put the pathway here. So I'm gonna use the light purple, white, and the uh, amber. Oh no, I mean light raw amber. Everyone, sorry. So here I'm gonna put the. Uh, So this will be my pathway, okay? And then here I'm gonna put the big tree. So umber. There, so yeah, it will be the tree here. I'm gonna cover most of the part, and then now I'm gonna try to since uh, I'll just cover some parts here, but I need to add some details here. I'm gonna make this like uh, a forest, so I'm gonna put uh, start now to add some highlights on this uh, forest here. I'm gonna make it uh, much more colorful, so blue and uh, yellow like a blue green everyone
So I am using this uh, small flat brush to create those uh, small trees uh, on the forest. So I'm using the light green iron color. There and also here. Just use the tapping technique. On the other side, I'm going to put a bit of a bluish color. There. So it's just easy and so simple and you can create this thing. Just a uh, uh, few um, tapping technique, everyone, and you can create a beautiful uh, forest. It looks like a forest there in the background. So yeah, it looks like a forest now, and it looks good. I'm going to add more. I'm gonna make it much more bluish. I want it to. I want the tree to look more bluish, everyone. So I'm gonna put more blue and white. So we have now uh, this detailed uh, distant forest. There you go. Yeah, I like I like it. Okay. So yeah, I think that will be enough for that. And here also, everyone, I'm gonna make it like uh, there's a there's a green field here. And I'm gonna put some uh, tree also, maybe here. I'm gonna put one tree here. Yeah. So I have here uh, the brush, a bristle flat brush. So. I'm going to put now the blue-green. I think much more bluish. Yeah. Tapping technique, everyone. And then you can put no yellow and then white.
the light source is coming from the left side. And then I will, will put uh, one tree there. Yeah, maybe just this tree and the red color, or umber and the red. Red and the yellow. Maybe we can put red first. Then we can put uh, a bit of yellow. put now some tree trunk so I am using this and then the rumber there and then also here okay so you have now a different colors of trees and then maybe I will try to put one house here just a small house on that part make the roof a bit of orange A little bit perspective, everyone, because our eyes only be on this part here. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to use a lighter color on the body or on the wall.
little bit uh, darker inside So I can put some windows and even the chimney. There. Okay. So I will improve. I'm gonna put a little bit more details, yellow and the red, and in the blue and white. So yeah, you can see now that that place looks good. It looks uh, a lot of things there. It looks uh, a lot of plants, something like that. Okay. Yeah, I like also the the background. And I'm gonna try to put now um, the details of this uh, tree, everyone. I'm gonna use this bristle flat brush. I'm going to use some blue, red, more blue and the yellow. Okay, so let's do the tapping technique. So we can put the dark first. There. I'm gonna put a little bit of umber. So you have now beautiful uh, 
form of the tree and here one I'm gonna put a uh, forest here on this part of the on this back here one I'm gonna put a uh, forest and I need to put a lot of trees here so it will become a bit of busy uh, there will be a, a lot of things here okay I'm gonna adjust white in this uh, color and let's just do something like that the trees will be having a Okay, there you go. And then I'm gonna put now this row number. So let's put now some uh, tree trunk. Okay, and then let's uh, put a little bit of light. So I'm gonna put just white, everyone, to lighten the trunks. Okay, now let's use again this bristle flat brush. I'm using now a little bit light green or light yellow, and then let's put some. A little bit of red. Just so simple, everyone, and yet it's effective. Just put on the right side. Okay, so we can have a bit of uh, one uh, group of different trees there on the on that side of the mountain, maybe the back side of the mountain. Okay, so yeah, that's good. And now let's uh, put now some details on this tree. So yeah, I'm very excited with that. I am going to put first some greens. So here yellow and the blue let's 
two more blue. Yeah. Yellow and the blue one. Add a bit of water. And then it's put now. Just put out the topping technique. Okay, so here also, you can also put on the other side everyone. Make sure that uh, you have a lot of paint on your brush, it will be thick enough. start adding the highlights. I'm gonna put more uh, yellow and then white. Yeah, just tapping technique. Everyone put the highlights on the on the right side. Put more white to make it uh, brighter. Okay, so yeah, we have now this beautiful simple tree and we can see there Yeah, the colors and it looks so green. Yeah It's a bit different than the tree uh, in the back. Okay So hopefully you understand Okay, so I'm gonna put now some details on the Here on the Tree trunk. So first, I'm gonna use this blue, amber, and white.
there. Okay, now I'm gonna use the pistol another small flat brush. I know the small round brush. I'm sorry, everyone. Yellow, a white with a little bit of orange. Highlights. there okay okay everyone so i'm gonna do my best to make this part look good i'm gonna add more rocks there whatever that come out of my mind as long as it will look good okay and then the the, the pathway there something like that okay so let's put some rocks so i have here the raw umber with the white yeah I can put some dark and then put some white also Also here. this will be some rocks everyone and then let's put now some highlights on the rocks yellow and the red and then white I'm using the big brush now
there. And then I'll put first, I'm gonna mix now uh, purple, blue and the red. And then white. And then I will start now to put some uh, light uh, brown, blue, and the red, and the white. Okay, now I'm going to start adding some some greenish. Not just green silver, but also some red and then yellow. So just use the tapping technique. there and then I will mix for some greens also blue and the yellow more blue Yeah, so slowly everyone we can see now uh, the beautiful landscape but I need to I need to add more details there I need to make it look uh, good and beautiful okay so I'm gonna do my best to make it as realistic as possible okay so maybe some raw umber also
yellow and the blue there So here. Okay, now I'm gonna put more yellow, and then red. Okay, so I'm adding some highlights everyone to make it look good here there so this is a pathway here and I like the, the brownish background there it looks good it it complements the greenish uh, highlights I'm gonna put some yellow also I would also put some greenish, maybe, I oh know, I mean, uh, red, maybe a little pink color. light 
it looks like uh, some some flowers everyone there so that part looks bright and I like how it uh, looks I like uh, just this part hit by the, the sunlight it looks good yeah it looks so simple everyone but it looks good it looks like uh, there's a lot of plants there yeah okay so I'm going to continue and add more details I think I'm gonna put a little bit of I'm going to uh, add no more details on this one. There. A little more yellow. Maybe here. So I can see now. Right. And even here, everyone. I just put some white to create that lines there. Okay. Just tapping technique. There. Okay, so yeah, what you can see now, it looks good. Yeah, I like the the colorful foreground of Ron. Yeah, it looks it looks now a bit different than my works, other works. Yeah, this one looks a bit different, everyone. I will just put the uh, I'll just make the rocks much more solid and detailed okay so here
so yellow and then yeah red and then white there and then to put here Some of you lights here bro and hitting this part of the ground. There. And then let's put now more on the rocks. go and then with a fight yeah there you go This one, everyone, let's try to put some some smoke from the chimney. I think I like the stroke on this one. Uh, it's way different. It's not so clean. I like the everything that I did here. It's uh, way different than my other works. Uh, it's much more dirty. Uh, you can see a lot of strokes. It's way, way uh, different than my previous work, so I like this one. So uh, it's a refreshing scene uh, compared to my other works. It's very refreshing. It looks a bit more uh, impressionistic, something like that. A lot of strokes there. I like this one. So yeah, I'm very, very pleased, and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to retouch more. Because I still have uh, some paints on my on my uh, palette yellow and then white I have a white here there there I just want to Add more uh, details and then some some lights and then some strokes. Okay, so I think I am done, everyone, and I hope you, you like my output. It looks a bit uh, simple, but yeah, it looks good. I like. Uh, I like how simple it is and I like the strokes. So I hope you enjoy and you learn something uh, of this uh, new tutorial and you can also paint your own. Okay everyone, so I wanna say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like and some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.